Once again, it is the weekend, and that can only mean one thing. That means I'm here to film a weekend reads. <laughs> Hello everyone, it is Samantha, and I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. I'm here today to share with you guys what I'm doing and reading this weekend, because, you know, I didn't do one last week, and I felt like doing one this week, so here we are. Fortunately, it's not super hot this weekend, and I am enjoying that very much. I'm hoping we are kind of on the tail end of summer. I bought some new fall decorations for my new bookcase this past week at Michael's, and I can't wait to decorate my room for fall. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And I just can't wait to wear fall clothes. I've already put a jump start on my fall clothing shopping, picking up a few pieces that I needed, and it's going to be great. Can't wait for the cold months. And I'm sure you guys are getting real tired of hearing me complain about the heat, so I apologize. But now we're going to dive into the two books that I am reading and loving at the moment. The first one is a reread, and that is Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb. I started my reread last week. I'm loving being back in this world. It's like going home. It is such a wonderful series. I cannot wait to binge it. I'm going to try and get through all of the books by the end of the year, or at least by February. It might be a little bit hard to read them all, but I'm going to try my damnedest. But all I know is that I'm enjoying immensely reading this series. I'm also going to be trying to film a discussion video for each book that I finish. It's going to contain some spoilers, but I'll try and split the video into like a non-spoilery discussion and then a spoilery discussion. And I might do a live show as well for each book with other people who have read the books. Let me know if that's something you guys would want to see. I'm still not fully committed on doing that yet, but I think it might be something fun. But I will definitely intend to be posting a discussion video on each book. I kind of had thought about starting Hob Along again, which was the read along I was hosting for her books but I suck at Goodreads. I just cannot use it. I cannot keep up with it. I hate the website so, so much. So the hop along is not going to happen. I will try to do the hop along through video form, but if there's other ways that you can, guys can think of that you would like to engage in a read along of Robin Hobb's books that does not include Goodreads, let me know your ideas down below and I will try and evaluate them and come up with you know, an idea of what I want to do. So far, it's just going to be a discussion video, but if you want more, let me know. <laughs> the next book that I started this week, and it's actually coming out on Tuesday, and I'm loving this book so much. And I got an early copy of it, and I can't believe I didn't start it sooner, but the publisher sent me a final copy, and that is Foundry Side by Robert Jackson Bennett. This book is so much fun. I'm loving it so much. It's set in this fantasy type setting that includes like factories and machines, and the machines, however, are controlled by these sigils that have been written upon them, and it's all very exciting. And it's all about this theme who is tasked with stealing this box and she does and she opens the box and inside the box is this key that has a bunch of sigils on it but nothing that she actually recognizes and for some reason this key can talk to her and she's like whoa what is this? But the key is hilarious. Let me tell you, the personality of this key, and I'm sure there's more to this key, but I'm only like 150 pages into the book, but his personality is so funny and he has a lot of funny little quips. So I'm definitely, definitely enjoying this book so much. The city is also controlled by these four different merchant families and everybody lives, each merchant family that controls the city it basically has their own quarter of the town that they live in, that's Walden, and anybody who's not a part of this family or the elite lives and what's called foundry side. So basically it's where all the poor common people live. There's no laws, there's no police, there's nothing. It's just very rough, rough place. But I'm enjoying this book immensely. I am a fan of his writing. I really, really am. And I never read his other trilogy, which is funny because I have book one that has been sitting on my shelf for two and a half years, but I'll have to get to that one sooner rather than later. So yeah, I'm really enjoying his book. I cannot wait to continue reading it. I'm definitely going to try and get through most of this this weekend because I'm just addicted. I need to know what's going to happen. Plus, I think the cover is just so awesome. Look at that. So yes, that's what I'm reading this weekend. I have two books that are keeping me entertained because I'm enjoying them both quite a bit. I'm also going to be continuing on with my playthrough of Octopath Traveler on my Nintendo Switch. Absolutely loving this video game. It's a lot of fun. It's a JRPG, kind of reminiscent of the early Final Fantasy games and Earthbound. Earthbound being one of my all-time favorite video games. So I am enjoying it. I've already jumped like 20 hours into this game and I have no regrets. I just play it while with my family when they're watching TV and I can play my game on my Switch and everybody's a happy camper. As for the rest of my plans, I of course intend to continue my piano practice. I'm getting into some more challenging things and techniques and music theory now, so my practice has slowed down a little bit because I'm starting to get a little bit intimidated, but I'm going to try and persevere. I'm getting into eighth notes, which I don't know why I'm having a hard time wrapping my head around, but I will get there because that's what I think every single time I start something new on the piano. I'm like, this is too hard, but then I overcome it and it's better. So yeah, I'm going to continue kind of plugging away at the piano and I am going to edit some videos for you guys and I might even try and color. I'm really trying to get back into coloring and to get over my fear 
of inadequacy. <laughs> Because that's been a thing. But I miss it. I just need to like stop focusing so much on how amazing these all these professional colorists are and just do my own thing. So I may try and get back to that because I do miss it. I might also try and rearrange my bookcases this weekend because I'm really, really extremely unhappy with how I have my books arranged, particularly on the bookcase next to my window over here. And every time I walk in my room, I'm like, eh. So I may tackle that. It's gonna be a job. So we'll see how I feel later, but right now I'm contemplating rearranging them because, you know, it's just not making me happy right now. <laughs> and I know you guys also like to see kind of what I'm going to be snacking on this weekend, and I only have one snack, and it is these orange cream wafers from this German cookie brand. I think it's Hans Freitag, which I'm probably saying wrong, forgive me. But they are delicious. They basically taste like orange creamsicles in cookie form. I'm a big fan, so I got these guys to snack on. All right, so that pretty much sums it up for my weekend reads and my plans and all of that good stuff. If you guys have anything you want to throw down in the comments, please feel free to do so. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Until next time, happy reading. Bye.